Okay, let's talk about how to commit and push to GitHub using Eclipse. Here I am in Eclipse. Uh, I've got some changes that I've made to some of these very important files. I would like to commit them, and I want to do this using Eclipse. I can right-click on the file. I can actually right-click anywhere in the repository, and I go down here to Team Commit. Now that brings up a window called Git Staging. For whatever reason, it always puts it down here, uh, kind of where your console would be. Uh, it's very hard to see everything, so what I always do is I click and hold and drag this all the way up to here. Now it's possible to drag this like to there or to here where it takes up like half a panel or something. That's no good. Nobody wants that. Um, you want to drag it so that it... Well, now I just went and screwed it up. Right, here we go. That's where I want it. Bam! Ha! See? I demonstrated how to fix a problem. You want to drag it up here kind of next to your top level files. Now this is your uh, Git staging. So these are unstaged changes. These are changes that uh, could be staged but haven't been staged. Down here we have changes that have been staged. So what that means is that if it's staged, that means on the next commit, uh, that's going to be what gets committed to your repository. Now maybe I don't actually want to uh, commit this, so I drag this over. Now this is unstaged, so you can see it's still got the little arrow next to it letting us know that there are changes that have not been staged, um, Whereas this, because it's got the little asterisk, that's letting us know this has got stage changes. So on the next commit, those are what's going to get uh, sent to the repository. Now I've got some things like this grid.java. This is a class I wrote. I ended up not using it. Uh, it's got a little question mark. That means it exists. Uh, it's totally part of the Eclipse project. But Git doesn't know about it because I've never even committed a first version of it. If we want to stage that to be committed, I drag it down here. Now we look, it's got a little green plus next to it. That means it's been staged and the next commit it'll be added to the repository. Maybe I don't want that. Maybe I'll end up deleting this. I don't know. I'll move this back. Um, another thing you can do with your uh, changes, if you double click on it, it brings up a comparison window. And so this will show you, you know, the old version and the uh, new version. You can see, what did I change? I changed halt on failure from yes to halt on failure. No, this is the old version. This is the new version. That's the only change that I made, um, so that's totally fine. So maybe I want to go ahead and commit this change to the um, to the build.xml. So I can go ahead and type a commit message here. Uh, I did this to make a video because you know I didn't really make substantial changes. Now if I do a commit, that commits to my local repository. If I do commit and push, that commits to my local repository, which is the one I cloned from GitHub, and it also pushes to my remote repository, which in this case is stored at GitHub. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try that, commit and push, and you can see down here it's working on the push. Usually when the push succeeds, a window pops up saying that the push succeeds. For some reason, oh, there it is. Oh, I guess you can actually click on this to make the window show up. Uh, I did this to make a video. There we go. So it's telling us it committed to the master branch. Here's the message, and that's what it committed to, and I can say OK to make that. That was really cool. I didn't know I could use this button to make that appear, but I guess I can. That's totally fantastic. Great. So that's just real quick how you can go ahead and commit things and also push using Eclipse. Thank you.